hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm very very excited to have you here today we're going to be talking about how to properly fill out your stripe account details so that your account is approved when you want to get access to stripe so i've gotten lots of messages saying hey i have everything that i need but i can't be i'm not able to fill out the details or i'm too afraid to fill out the details so this video is going to be really really helpful for you and i'm going to be walking you through the entire process so if you're interested keep watching till the end and follow the step-by-step -step instructions so let's get into the video all right so first things first this is um, my stripe dashboard and right now this is an already approved account but i'm going to be creating an account from scratch with you to show you exactly what you need to do so if you have a stripe account that is brand new then you will not have any of these things in your sidebar but if not you want to create a new account right so I'm going to call this new account, right? So let's call it EIN Central. And the country of operation, if you've registered your business in the US, you should put US, irrespective of where you live. And then you click on create account and then it will create the account for me because I have an already existing account is asking me to confirm my password and then we're ready to go. Okay, so it will open a dashboard like this and the first thing you're going to notice is that um, this is currently in the test mode and i need to activate my account before i can access my live data okay um some things to add is that you have to verify your email address as well as set up two-factor authentication but if you already have those things done then just focus on this part now to give you a rundown of everything you need this is a list i've already gathered all of the information that i need and this is what we're going to be using number one you need your business account details so you need your business address and everything that is relating to your business as you registered it with your um in your preferred your state of registration now if you if you when if when you were registering your business you use the PO box it will most likely not work and a better way of doing it is to reach out to your registered agent and ask them to give you a virtual office sometimes when you use a PO box with Stripe they will reject it and in case you are rejected then what you want to do is to get a virtual office now this is a bit pricey it comes around $50 per month but it is the only way that your Stripe account will be approved okay so you have to have your EIN number ready you need to have your phone number ready as well as the bank account details if you have not gotten a US bank account do not try to open a Stripe account because you will need to fill in your bank details and then finally you need two documents your EIN document so the proof of your EIN as well as a passport identification this is what we'll use to prove your identity as the business owner for your business once you've gathered all of these things then the next thing you want to go to is to activate your account now we're going to be filling out these details and it's going to be sweet and it's going to be easy so the first thing we're going to fill out is the address so i already have my address here and i'm going to copy it and i will paste and then the city is santa fe state i registered in new mexico and the zip code is this number right here great now they're going to ask you the type of business now it's going to be a company then you scroll up and then to ask you for the structure so if you're a single member llc meaning your business has only one owner then you put in single member llc if it's a multi-member llc then you put multi-member llc if it's anything else you fill in as appropriate okay so in my case is a single member llc and i'm going to click on next so the next thing that we need to put in is our business details so they are going to ask you the legal business name now this is what is registered with the um irs and everybody else they're going to ask you for your ein number so i'm going to copy it right here and paste if you have a doing business as like a dba that you'll be using then you fill it out here great we have our registered business address already and it to ask you to choose your industry now please choose according to what you'll be selling now this is not set in stone but it's also important because it will help strive to identify what kind of business you're doing 
okay so let's fill out these details now it's a uh, stripe is going to ask you to describe the kind of product or service that you offer Once you fill that out, you can explain as detailed or as not detailed as possible, but just keep in mind that it should make sense and always put yourself in the shoes of Stripe. Like, would you, what kind of details do you need in order for it to make sense and make you look like a legitimate business owner? Okay. And then click on next and it will ask you to fill your personal details details you as the business representative now note that if you have multiple business owners like if you your business is owned by more than one person you will need to fill out the details of anybody who has more than 25 percent ownership inside of the business for me it's just one person so i need to fill out only my details so my email address is here already so i'm going to fill out my date of birth and then it will ask you for your home address. Now your home address does not have to be in the US. It can be in any country that you live in. And I'm just going to select mine. Once you fill out those details, it's going to ask you for a phone number. I recommend that you get, even if it's a Skype number, that you will use as your details. Now, the next thing is going to ask you is a social security number. Now, as a non-US resident, you don't have a social security number. If you have an ITIN, you can put in your ITIN here. If you don't have an ITIN, then you can use your own country's passport identification. All you need to do is select here and then scroll and look for your country's abbreviation. So mine is NG and I'm going to fill out my passport number. All right. Once you're done filling out the details, all you need to do is click on next and then you'll be able to put in your fulfillment details. Now they're going to ask you how long after paying will your customers receive the services and then you can decide mine is within two weeks. I'm going to click on next and then it's going to ask you for a credit card statement. So how will it look like on your credit card? So I'm going to put in this putting this as my customer support number and then I will leave my customer support address as the same then I'm going to click on next it's going to ask me for bank details I'm going to scroll down and put in manually because I don't have any of these banks listed out here so get the routing number then the account number then confirm the account number and then click next so usually here is where they will ask you to um, do your two-factor authentication as well if you haven't already for me i have i used authy to do my authentication and then it will ask you to go over the details one more time you see i already have two-step authentication enabled and then i'm going to click on done So once you do this it's going to reload the dashboard and you see that it says immediately that i should get my api keys now something to note is that if you do run into a problem where let's say your tax details are not confirmed so mine are already verified if yours is not verified you get a notification and then you can come here and you can fill out whatever information they give you now should you run into any issues you might be needed you might need to copy it exactly as it is on your ein document and paste here so usually that looks like this you copy the first and second line like this copy it and then paste inside of this um space here 
so sometimes when you put only the name of your llc it doesn't recognize it and you have to put the llc name as well as your um, name joined together and then it will recognize it if you do run into any issues always reach out to stripe support i have reached out to them in the past and they've told me some things along the lines of okay wait from this for it to update as well as um giving sometimes the dashboard itself will run into an error and i'll have to refresh the page log out log in and then it works so this is how you fill out your details to get access to stripe as you can see i have a functioning stripe account i can get Get my live keys and um, um, secret keys and use this to process payments immediately everything is working smoothly the only other thing I would recommend is that you go in and set up your um, basic business settings like the colors what people will see as your support email address and things like that so you can do that all on that settings and play um, yeah checkout settings payment methods things like that so that when people pay you through stripe they know what they're seeing now if you find out that by watching this video you can't like you don't have any of the details i mentioned maybe you don't have your ein or you haven't registered your business then you want to check out the links in my description you can get the llc formula and it will show you how to get your ein fast and your llc but if you already have your llc and you want your EIN and maybe you've heard that the IRS is taking quite a while to get back to people, then you want to check out the description as well. We have a standalone EIN service and you can get your EIN done for you in two weeks or less. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to check out anything pertaining to Stripe, you want to check out my other videos, I'm going to link them on this page and you'll be able to check out the entire playlist. So make sure to share it with a friend and leave a comment for me in the comment section and tell me if this worked for you i can't wait to see you guys in the next video bye bye